Hello everyone, welcome back to our latest update program. Emissions cap report 2025 is out, so in this video, let us look at the key highlights of that report. Emissions gap report is released by the United Nations Environment Program and this year's report highlights that India has recorded the highest absolute increase in the greenhouse gas emissions during the period 2023-24. This means that if we compare our current GHG emissions with our previous GHG emissions, we have recorded the highest increase by value. We have added 165 million tons of additional emission during this period. So by value we have recorded the highest growth but by percentage we are at number two. First is Indonesia followed by India. So an increase in the GHG emissions by value India is at number one by percentage India is at number two. And the report also predicts that the world is now moving towards a warming level of 2.8 degrees Celsius by the end of this century. And what was our goal? The goal under the Paris Agreement was to keep this well below 2 degrees Celsius. And an even ambitious goal was to keep it below 1.5 degrees Celsius. But the countries across the world are way off track. In fact, they are so off track that the report is also titled of target. UNEP has titled this report as off target because the countries world over are not on track in keeping up with their nationally determined contributions. So we know that under the Paris Agreement, all these signatories had to send in their updated NDCs every five years. And this year also it was due before the climate summit. POP 30. Where is COP30 happening? This is happening in Brazil. So the countries had to send in their revised NDCs by September 30. But sadly, only one third of the countries sent in the updated NDCs. In fact, India also did not send in the updated NDC and this is not sending a good signal out to the world. India might have to face some pressure at COP30 because people might feel or the countries might feel that India is not taking its climate targets seriously. So this is the overall situation at the moment. And if we look at the global emissions landscape of the report, we will see that the highest emitter is China, followed by the US and then we have India. So GHG emission increase by value India 1, by percentage India 2 and total GHG emissions India number 3. And if we look at the G20 emissions, then the G20 emissions are rising. The only exception is European Union, where the GAG emissions are declining. Overall, these emissions in G20 countries rose by 22 million tons. And I already told you that the world is moving towards a warming level of 2.8 degree Celsius. Now, why do you think that the GHG emissions in the country are increasing? The most obvious reason over here is that our population is increasing. Our population is increasing and so is the energy demand. The energy demands are increasing and these demands are mostly fulfilled by fossil fuels. So because our population is increasing, our energy demand is increasing, so our GHG emission is also increasing. In fact, this population this is actually a two-edged sword. So when the population increases, the total GHG emission increases, but the per capita emission decreases. Per capita emission, because for per capita emission, you will have to divide the total emission by the total population and our population is huge. So the per capita emission of India is among the lowest in the world. But when we talk about GHG emissions, we are at number three. So just calculating the GHG emission is not going to give us the exact picture or a fair picture. For a fair picture, for a transparent picture, we will have to look at some other indicators also that are used in this report. So some other indicators are total emissions we already saw. India, number three, 
emission growth or increase we saw by value india number 1 by percentage india number 2 emission intensity of gdp this is an important indicator this tells us what is the total emission per unit economic output so total emission by gdp is going to give us the emission intensity so we are we are basically going to calculate how much of ghg are we emitting when we are producing goods and services in a country if we are emitting a lot if the intensity here is high this means that we are not moving towards clean production our production is not clean but if our intensity here is low this means that we are developing but we are not developing at the cost of the climate our intensity is low so we are not emitting as much we are moving towards clean technologies and india's emission intensity is low this is a good thing then we have the per capita emissions per capita uh, capita emissions also are amongst the lowest in the world this is also increasing but it is still amongst the lowest then sector wise emissions are also important historical emissions are also important this tells us historically have we been responsible for increasing the global warming so we have been not developed nations have been responsible for increasing the global warming if we look at the population of india and if we look at the contribution in ghg emissions that have been uh, made in the past this again is low in comparison to the developed nations and then carbon budget share this is also important this basically tells us how much of carbon budget is left for us and what is our share in it so carbon budget basically is that this is the amount of uh, this basically tells us the amount of emissions that we can afford to make before we reach 1.5 degree celsius because after we reach 1.5 degree celsius if the global warming levels they exceed 1.5 or 2 degree celsius then this is going to be the damage is going to be irreversible so what is the amount of emissions left in our kitty that we can make before we actually surpass this level this is the carbon budget and carbon budget share is basically the share that is allotted to each country here also we perform good we do not emit as much carbon as it is uh, as uh, is on our population so the share in the carbon budget is also low for india then what is the problem the problem experts feel is climate justice we are facing a climate justice issue emissions are high because the energy demand is high per capita emissions are low our emission intensity is low but which means that we are moving towards clean technology but the problem here is that that we are not getting enough financing to improve our situation because historically we have not been responsible for this increase in global warming that is why we need to be compensated for that we need to be provided this kind of finance so that we can move towards clean technology and green technology and this is going to come from developed nations and developed nations unfortunately have not been de doing their part as much and that is why we are facing a situation of climate justice so this is the overall situation at the moment but what needs to be done in order to reduce our emissions our energy levels our energy uh, demands are rising and they are going to rise because the population is rising so in order to reduce this thing we need to move towards more renewable energy we need to keep working towards our renewable energy targets and then globally also we need to take care of things like we do not miss our ndc goals we had to send in the revised ndcs we should have sent in the revised ndcs because this is not going to give a good picture out to the world we need to take care of such things also and then we also need to invest in more r and d and innovation r and d innovation indigenization we need to move towards more clean fuel evs etc so that the emissions can finally come down and we need to keep working towards keeping our emission intensity low which already is low but we also need to bring it further down so that was all for this video i hope you understood the entire discussion over here the different indicators that are used in this report and how is india performing in all these indicators 
Now let us look at a practice question for prelims. Consider the following statements regarding the UNEP emissions gap report 2025. 1. India recorded the highest absolute increase in annual greenhouse gas emissions between 2023-24 among all countries. 2. India has already submitted its updated third nationally determined contribution within the UN September 30 deadline. 3. The report states that current global policies place the world on track for approximately 2.8 degrees Celsius of warming by the end of the century. And 4. Among G20 countries, only the European Union is currently showing a declining emissions trend. Which of the above statements is or are correct? A. 1 only. B. 1 and 2 only. C. 2, 3 and 4 only. D. 1, 3 and 4 only. Please provide your answers in the comment section and we will meet in a new video. Thank you for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.